Hello and welcome back to the new video with our tutorial series. So till now we have covered uh, arrays and strings in Java. So from this video onwards we are starting a linked list in Java. Okay, so linked list is uh, easy and more uh, my my favorite data structures. Uh, okay, and I also love you implementing linked list in Java and you can you you also love it. I'm sure and so let's go uh, so singly linked list is a data structure used for storing the collection of nodes which has the following properties okay so till now we ha we have seen arrays okay so let me show you one thing uh, here you can see uh, so this this is one I hope you guys can understand by this so till now uh, you have seen one array like this okay array so this is the array uh, which has uh, elements 1 0, uh, 1 2 3 4 3 and 3 6 6 elements which it is storing and now uh, what linked list does is linked list does exactly the same way it stores uh, the data but in the format of node nodes okay so these nodes have some properties okay so let me just uh, give you an example of the node itself over here okay so here you can see so in java link list this is the no one node okay so let me just write one node over here this is one node okay so this is one node which has uh, two parts one is data part and one is next part so these uh, this is simply represents one node in java okay and which is pointing okay so this is one and which is pointing to none okay so this this entire thing in is no one node in java which has some characteristics okay or properties it contains sequence of the nodes okay in the singly linked list uh, you can see these men these multiple nodes are connected in an in a chain okay and these are connected with one 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 another okay and a node has data and a reference to the next node in a list okay so it has two or two section one is data section and the next section data section will hold the actual data or the value with that node uh, going to hold and next in the next part it it contains the address of the next node that is it is pointing okay so let's suppose uh, so like this we have multiple nodes okay uh, let me just give you an example uh, let me just get it over here and for example uh, these are the two things okay these are the two nodes in the uh, two j two nodes okay one node and here in the next part it is has the address of these nodes these node okay so this node and this node is connected using the next part here the address which is stored here okay now the first node is the head node uh, always remember the first node of the linked list is called as head let me just write it over here head and the last node is of the of the linked list it's always pointing to the null so if if you consider these type of nodes let's suppose there are uh, five uh, ele elements in the five nodes in the linked list and after the fifth node fifth nodes next should point to the null which represents that this linked list ends here and in some of the reference books you will also find as the last element uh, last element or the last node of the linked list is called as tail okay so the first node is called as head last node is called as tail of linked list okay so in java uh, or in general there are three types of linked list okay one is singly linked list second one is doubly linked list and third one is circular linked list uh, so we are going to cover all these linked list 
uh, in detail uh, so starting with the simply in english in this video uh, in, uh, in this video i will just give you one overview of the simply in english what exactly it is so so you understand the in linked list the data is stored in the format of node and node contains the two part that is data and next part data parts holds the actual value and next part next part holds the address of the next node to, to which it is pointing so that it just goes in in the chain format and uh, always remember first node of the linked list called as head and the last node of the linked list called as tail and the last nodes next should point to the null which is represent representing that uh, this linked list ends there okay so this is the idea of the simply linked list uh, i hope you got some overview of the link linked list how linked list works in java and from next video onwards we'll be starting all those operations like insert insert operation or uh, how to print the uh, linked list uh, how to delete the uh, element and how to uh, get the element or fetch the element how to check the whether the element is present inside the linked list all these queries we will solve uh, using the linked list in our upcoming videos so stay tuned and Thank you for watching this video.